Last time we were making a boat hook and starting to make a galley box. I was making the galley box from pieces of wood I had left over from the boat build. I managed to find some suitable bits for the rim of the lid, which I nailed and glued together and then with wood glue stuck a piece of 6mm marine ply on top. Then I cut a piece of southern yellow pine to size to make the retainers for the sliding front of the galley box. I had to cut the corners off these to fit over the beveled trim which I'd used to join the sides together. For the sliding front of the galley box I had a piece of 9mm thick marine ply which I had cut out of one of the bulkheads during the boat build. This had a hole in it but I wasn't too bothered about this as this could double as a handle. I marked the positions for the sliding front retainers and glued and screwed these in place. I fixed the bottom retainer in place with some extra long screws which would go through the sides as well. Then I taped a piece of 6mm marine ply onto the front of the box and marked around on the inside the positions of the retainers. And then rounded off the corners using a compass. Before cutting this out And I stuck this on with some wood glue, holding it in place with some clamps and some off-cut pieces of lead. Once this had dried I squared off the sliding front piece and tried it for size. I marked the positions for a couple of handles that I put on the sides of the box. and glued and bolted these in place. I managed to get a piece of off-cut alloy which I would line the box with. So I cut this to size and stuck it in place with some no-nails. I've been looking at different roller reefing systems and decided upon one made by Barton. This requires a separate forestay from the mast to the bow of the boat, or in our case to the bowsprit. So my next job was to make a forestay. I started by fastening a thimble onto the pad eye which would fasten onto the top of the mast and attach this to a piece of stainless steel cable. Then it was time to raise the mast again with Nelly supervising of course. I passed the forestay through the pad eye on the bowsprit and then marked the position for the thimble on this end with a piece of tape. When doing this I needed to allow room for a turnbuckle. Then I dropped the mast again and fastened the thimble through the end of the turnbuckle onto the end of the cable. After this I went back indoors to finish off the galley box with some tactile rounded edges before giving it a test run. And some coats of varnish. <laughs> 